All right, so we're going to look at, see if we can't uh, figure out what's wrong with the single sideband. Um, so now in this radio, this is the block diagram. It's probably hard to read here on camera, but um, there's a path from the microphone to the antenna. So this is a uh, transmitting, okay? So the microphone goes into an amplifier. It goes into another amplifier. It gets low pass filtered. Then it goes into an oscillator, which is a 10.9... 10.695 megahertz oscillator and the microphone wiggles the frequency back and forth and that creates the FM modulation. It then goes through a couple amplifiers and buffers, goes into a mixer, it gets mixed with the carrier to get up to 145 megahertz and then it goes into some drives and final amplifier. So we know this path works because the FM works. So um, what is the uh, single sideband path? Well, the single sideband path is goes through the first amplifier, then it comes down here to two more amplifiers, then it goes into a ring mixer um, with suppression carrier, uh, uh, carrier suppression, and then it gets filtered. So this all happens around 10.695 as well. There's a filter here, and that gets rid of uh, extra stuff because we're mixing it, and then, uh, and then it comes back up. So w w it goes down, and then it goes right back up into here. So we know this is all good. So the path that it takes up is this one. It, it goes through here. So the only thing that can be wrong is from here to here, okay? And so that's what we're going to be looking at today. All right, so let's, uh, uh, let's rearrange camera a bit. Okay, um, so the microphone ends up coming down here in this section here. And uh, so what we're looking for is a, a couple, is that on camera, a couple microphone uh, amplifiers. So we'll see if we get a microphone signal here that goes into this ring. And then we'll see if the carrier gets into that ring as well. You should have, uh, I'll explain that ring a little bit later. but. Um, so probing this board, I can't probe from the bottom side and it's a single sided board. So I have to be able to get to the lead. So it was, it was very difficult with my, um, with my Rigel scope probes. Um, the Rigel scope probe uh, is a bit fat on the end and it's hard to get into narrow spaces. Okay. And so, um, I had this nice Agilent probe and the Agilent probe has a real tiny little tip on it. It also comes with accessor this accessory here that adds a very tiny, tiny tip. And this one is actually spring loaded, which is really nice. You can get it onto something and, and it won't move around. So I'm going to be using this scope probe for this work here. All right. So uh, let's turn the power on and I'm going to probe. Here's ground. I'm going to probe down here to that ring of diodes. And let's see here. Let's see if the microphone's picking up anything. Okay, so let me adjust a few things. Let's see. Uh, times 10 probe. And I'll increase the sensitivity here. And back this out a bit. Okay, so I'm going to be probing here. And then we're going to be looking at the scope probe. I mean, at the oscilloscope. And if I talk into the microphone, you can see that we are getting a signal, okay? So, how big of a signal? Hello, test, oh, my probe let loose. Hello, testing. We are 100 millivolts, so we're about uh, 200. <whistles> yeah, about 200, plus or minus 200 millivolts, okay? So, uh, the interesting thing is the microphone is live all the time, even if you don't push the transmit button. <laughs> it's, always, uh, it's always being amplified and sent to that ring. All right, so let's look at uh, schematic again. Well, not schematic, but uh, the uh, block diagram here. Okay, so what we did was we looked at this node here, the upper node. Let me get something to point with. Uh, we looked at this node right here, okay? So what, what that says is this 
chain of amplification for the microphone is working great and it's injecting the audio signal on this top of this uh, ring here. So let's go over here and seeing if we're getting any carrier uh, into the ring, okay? All right, uh, let's see here, let's go back down. So that other side of the diode should have carrier on him. All right, and I don't see a carrier, but if we push the uh, transmit button, boom, whoa, we get lots of stuff. Let's see here, let's, five volts. Let's see here, that's, oops. Yeah, there we go. Let's zoom out. Yeah, we'll zoom out. So there we go, we're getting a, we're getting our carrier there. Yeah, we can, uh, Let's see here, measure, counter, push the button. We're getting 10.9694. Yeah, 6.95, so anyway, so that's working great. So the, so the carrier is making it to the modulator and the uh, uh, audio is getting there, all right. Now, if I then jump over to here, I don't see any signal over here. Something doesn't make it up to this point up here. So, something has to happen between this ring and up there. So, there's a buffer, there's a single sideband filter. I think the single sideband filter works because it's used for the audio section. So maybe this transistor, this transistor is bad. Q42 inject into the filter. So we need to find this diode. Let's see if I can find a schematic. All right, so this is what we have. The microphone comes into these two transistors and gets amplified and they get sent to the ring. And this is the ring here. So where I have marked in yellow that, oops. We have it marked in yellow there. That's where we were probing. So we see a signal there. Uh, the carrier comes in from below and goes through this transistor and then gets injected uh, into the ring. And we saw the carrier. It then is balanced here. This is this uh, Adjustment here sets the, the carrier balance, and then it goes into this transformer, and then heads uh, through this transistor, through this filter, goes through that, so my back, of my on screen again. Um, so this is the big single sideband filter. We go through that, and then we go out, okay? And at this test point here, test point four, I think it is, I see no signal. So I see signal here, I see no signal here. So uh, I'm kind of suspecting this guy, but let's see if we can't back out. I hope it's that guy, it's easier to fix. Um, yeah, let's see if we can see any signals in and out of the uh, single sideband filter. So if we can find, if we can find where that comes in and out, that'll be good. Uh, so I've, lo I've located a C43, so we should be able to probe there. That's the input to the filter. Let me put my probe on that signal. Uh, should be right here. I hit transmit and, oh, nothing. Hmm. I'm take the other side of that. And nothing, maybe it's carrier. Hello, test. Oh, that's really small. Mm. Hello, test, 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 test. Maybe, it, hello, test. It is carrier suppressed, so maybe I'm not supposed to see a carrier there. No, I have to see, no, it has to be at 10 megahertz in order to get through the filter, so it's not audio. 
should be sideband at 10, 11 megahertz. So let me up the sensitivity of my scope here. Hello, test, test. Yeah, it's not there. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't. I can do it here on camera if you want to see it. I'm going to probe that. Uh, Rub that capacitor and hello, test, test. Yeah, it's, nothing's there. Nothing's there. So I think we need to look at Q42. Q42 was right there, but I can't probe it from this side of the board. Very, very difficult. Q42, six, there's that. I uh, might have to turn the board upside down. All right, um, I have the board tilted up here so I can get to the back side of it. Unfortunately, all the wiring is such that you can flip it over except for this one one wire, and, and that is the carrier, <laughs> so I needed that. So I had to build a little jumper cable here to, to, to make this all work. So now that I have my jumper cable on here, if I, if I, probe, uh, if I probe this jumper cable, uh, you can see that I've got, a, uh, I've got my carrier on it. My, what is it, 10.695? Um, so, uh, I'm going to be probing in this section here, which is the uh, uh, the module, the single sideband modulation circuit. So, I'll show you some waveforms over here. So this is, um, we've seen some of these before. This is the, uh, I have it on AC, uh, AC coupling here. So, let's see, I'll increase, some, increase the amplitude here a little bit. Okay, so that's the, one side of the bridge and then the other side of the bridge we saw that we had the uh, audio all right and then if i go over to the over here let's see let's see camera's in the way so i'm going to move you guys a second all right you guys are out of the way now i think i can probe here there we go and hello, let's see if I press transmit. Hello, test, test, test. Yeah, there we go. And let me zoom out over here. Hello, test, hello. Yeah, that's that's nice. So I think you can see that we're actually modulating. Test, yeah, it's kind of a good, it, I know there's, my setup and everything, I have noise in the ground leads and stuff, but just kind of ignore that. You can see, Hello, test, hello. So that's, that's, that's modulation. So we are modulating the signal. And if I move over to here, hello, we're modulating there. And if I move over to here, hello, hello, it's kind of dying right there, it's kind of dying. And then if I go one step further, hello, hello, and now we're Hello, so there's nothing coming out there. So let me tell you, let me show you what I've just, I've just shown. And I think I know maybe what the problem is. Okay, so uh, I was probing this um, filter here and um, transformer, and you were seeing modulation. And that happens here in this ring, right? The outside of the ring is the carrier and the inside of the ring is the audio and they mix together and we can see mixing products here. And then I was probing one side of this diode and I was seeing this signal. And if I probe this side of the diode, I get nothing. It just dies right there. So I'm assuming that this transistor is did, this Q42. It's a strange FET. Um, and so uh, I think I need to remove that from the PC board and test it. And we'll see, uh, we'll see what's going on. Well, I have a lot more fun with radios when they're easy to fix. This one's not, uh, not, not giving itself easy, uh, giving me an easy time. So I pulled out that transistor that I thought maybe was uh, compromised and uh, he tested out okay. You can, I put it on my tester here. So, so, <laughs> um, because I was having problems in this area, I hadn't replaced a couple of capacitors because they weren't, there weren't enough parts in the kit, but I found some parts and I've replaced all the capacitors. Now it didn't help one bit. Um, 
the capacitors in this radio seem to be pretty good. So what do I do from here? Um, I think uh, I'll show you on the schematic here. Um, down. So we know that we have a good signal here. And I've traced it all the way so that we now we have a good signal on this side of the capacitor right here. But we have a bad signal on this side of the capacitor right here. Um, which I thought meant that this maybe this thing was shorted out or something. But this transistor is testing good now. Um, and I don't really see this 10K resistor really getting in the way. Maybe it is. And just attenuate I don't know anyway um, my best guess now is that maybe this transistor isn't biased correctly um, so I want to try a couple things one I want to see what the biasing this of this looks like and doesn't make sense one of the problems with working on a new radio if you haven't done one similar to it before is you really don't know what is what it's supposed to look like if it's good you really don't know the signal levels or the waveform shapes you you really don't know now that can be extremely frustrating and it is <laughs> um it also um makes you look closer at the functionality of the circuit so it forces you to learn the circuit so if you really do want to learn electronics um trying to troubleshoot circuits is a great way to do it because you really, really have to understand the circuit. Um, another thing I want to do is to see if I can't inject a signal, um, maybe past this point, inject a signal maybe somewhere around here and see if it makes it through here. This might be a sus suspect part here, although I don't, I don't think so, because it's dying up, up here already, so I don't know what's going on. Um, but anyway, I think injecting signals along the way, this is kind of an old way of testing things, is uh, you start injecting signals from the speaker all the way back until it starts to fail, right? And so I can inject a signal here, see if it makes it through the transmitter. I can inject a signal here, see if it makes it through this transistor. And I think that's probably what I'm going to have to do from here on out, because um, I just don't understand what's going on here. Um, Sometimes when you get to a point where you're failing, um, you just have to give up on your present methodology. You're, well, you know, the path that I'm headed down is just not getting me anywhere. I, it's just not working. I'm just going to have take a different path, right? Instead of attacking it from the front, I'm going to have to attack. From, I'm going to have to attack it from the back. Or instead of measuring things and seeing if it's right or wrong, I'm going to inject things and see if I can force things into doing things. So yeah, you'd, maybe you just need to change your change your, to tactics and uh, see where to go from there. So anyway, that's where I am today. I'm gonna poke around a bit more and see, uh, see where I get. Uh, a little cooler today, so the garage is nice, so that will help. <laughs>